Hey folks, we are back at our live web stream uh, coverage of 2014 uh, produced by conference at Warner Brothers Studios and I am here with uh, the newly elected president of the Producers Guild, Mr. Gary Lucchese. How about that? How about that, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Coming about up that? in the world. Last year, just the... <laughs> I was the vice president of motion pictures. Yes, so I moved up to president. And uh, now the, and, uh, the chair of the conference as well. and uh, Co-chair. Co-chair, co of yes, course. And yeah. I'm also co-president with Laurie McCreary. So soon you're, you're going you're gonna to be like, like Edi Amin. You're going to have just a no, whole no, stretch I'm, of I'm labels. No, no, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. So talk a little bit about, uh, uh, first, I guess, about this year's conference, since uh, that's on everybody's mind right now what, what did it take to put this thing together and and what, what what has you excited about this year particularly well this year's conference uh is fantastic we're at warner brothers for the first time we uh, we've been at 20th century fox we've been at sony i think those are the two we've studios been at, we've been at disney ones. oh at disney we we're at disney ones <clears throat> and now we're at warner brothers but the lot is fantastic it's a little more intimate mm -hmm. uh, it's easier to get around and um very convenient but the conference itself has been wonderful uh yesterday we started off with uh some conversations with we had Seth Rogen and Evan mm -hmm. Goldberg, fantastic. David Fincher and Sion Chafin, <clears throat> great today. It was Norman Lear. This afternoon will be Francis Coppola. We've had um, the cable bosses were here yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. That was great. We've had uh, I saw a conference this morning, a session this morning on the digital space and digital distribution. Really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, there's one uh, that was just uh, just finished that was about. Um, <clears throat> Uh, action stories. Um, uh, so I think that's that. Uh, you know, but I, I, we have a lot of a lot of content and uh, very relevant. And um, I think the audience really appreciates it. Yeah, no, I think so too. We, we have a lot of uh, a lot of folks from the VOD uh, session have, have come up here and talked about what a, what an exciting panel it was. Since it's it's an area that people are still digging around for information right. about. This this is the sort of venue where this information is going to come out and people right. can actually compare notes and uh, and figure out where to go with their careers. Right, and I'm doing a panel at 2 o'clock on the independent film space, right. which will also include some information about video because ultimately everyone's telling me that there's more money out there, but what do you do with the content once you've actually created it? So, what, no, When everybody's telling you there's money, where, where's the money? Well, it's, it's uh, equity money, and there's uh, whether it's kick car Kickstarter or Slated, but there's mm -hmm. also wealthy people who want to make small movies. So there, there is more money, but how you actually... Um, Access it and what you do with it once you get it is the is the challenge. All right, and and let's just let's talk about the guild, about the producers guild. I mean, Mark and Hawk are, are a tough act to follow as as presidents, but if anyone could do it, you and Lori are are the folks. Well, look, it's it's Hawk's, it's all it's all well, it's a part, Hawk and uh, Gail Ann Hurd were the people that got me into the guild about ten years ago. So you can blame him, but Hawk and I go back. <laughs> we probably go back thirty years or so. He was. Uh, um, that's right. I met him actually when I was a, a young assistant to an agent, and he was partnered with Gene Kirkwood, and they were doing the Pope of Greenwich Village. Huh. But then I really got to know him <clears throat> much more intimately when I was a young executive at TriStar, and we made some movies with Ray Star. He was the president of right. Ray Star at the mm -hmm. time, and we made uh, Peggy Sue Got Married and Nothing in Common together. Right. And it was actually Hawk who taught me how to watch dailies hmm. and to <clears throat> understand. It's interesting, you can become a studio executive, but you didn't know about the filmmaking process because right. I had started off as an agent. So I knew how to sell, but I didn't really understand filmmaking. And he taught me how to watch dailies, and you'd see the master, and you'd, and you'd anticipate what the setups would be. And when the setups weren't exactly right, you'd question why, right. why there wasn't enough coverage. So <clears throat> Hawk and I go back through, through those years. And then when I was head of production at Paramount, I, I, uh, I offered him Wayne's World. To, to produce with Lauren Michaels, so oh, wow. so it, it was a very re, re, the, the, Mutual, the, the mutual and, and there was a lot of reciprocity. But we were also very very close friends. You know, I I, I view Hawk as one of my closest friends. So he's you know, no, I, 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 I don't yeah, know. So yeah, that's yeah. what I, and Mark Gordon I go way back with too. So yeah. I've, I've known both of them. So they're well, both great guys. They, they will for sure be around. You, you can't you can't tear them away from the guild. At, uh, well, they need to be around too because this yeah. producer's mark is a big deal. You know, the producer's yeah. mark is is a um, is a seminal moment for the guild. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it is um, it is going to become more and more complicated uh, as. Um, um, Films have more and more financial components. That's you right. know, there used to be a moment in time where a studio would finance the whole movie. Now, <clears throat> there are hardly any studios that finance a movie right. entirely. So, so it's going to be a little trickier. But I think still, at the end of the day, we'll be able to assess and determine who 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 truly produced the movie. We may have to add a few 
we may have to expand it from three to five people at, in certain moments, but um, but I think we'll be able to achieve that. Right. But I, the, you know, the other challenge that we face with the guild is that the guild is growing. It was. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it was like 1,200 members or 1,000 members when I joined. And now, right, it's, yeah. now it's 6,500. And, and um, every year it seems like we gain 1,000 members. It, wouldn't, it won't be surprising if, if, um, if by Christmas time we're at 7,000. And, and uh, during my tenure, who knows how, how big it will go. But the, the space is, the entertainment space is growing, and with that come new producers. So, so the, uh, the quantity of, 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 of people that are members will, will grow, and that will be challenging. Right. What uh, what needs to be done in terms of making the producers' mark the standard that it should be throughout the industry? Because there are still people who are who are <laughs> nervous about it, who who aren't quite sure what the three letters after their name are going to mean. How do how do we make that the the standard that it should be? Well, I think I think expanding the number of people that qualify will go a long way to helping. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really do because I do think that right now it is not uncommon for. Um, um, a financier who is going to be an active producer in a project or an actor uh, for that matter um, <clears throat> that, um, that, can, that, that will ask for a producer's mark and they're going to be game changers in the situation. And look, our ultimate goal has to be let's get the movie made. Right. Okay. Let's get the project Always. made. Okay. That's that that has to be our right. ultimate goal. So, so I think we have to have some flexibility, but at the same time we have to be, we have to squint at each movie and see ex exactly who's doing the work and who was responsible initially for the uh, the conception of the material. Right. Now, of course, you're a co-president with uh, Laurie McCreary, who's right. uh, formerly our treasurer. Talk about uh, your relationship with Laurie and how you guys Laurie have worked and, together. Laurie, Laurie and I have known each other for, I don't know, 10, 12 years, certainly, I think. I Actually, I knew her back at Paramount, so it's probably over 20 years. <laughs> we worked together on a movie we did... Um, <clears throat> You know, she works closely with Morgan Freeman. Of course. On Million Dollar Baby, Morgan Freeman was a part of that movie, so we became closer then. And then we did a subsequent movie called The Feast of Love mm -hmm. that Morgan was a part of and, and her company was a part of. And right. she and Morgan were executive... Morgan might have produced that. Yeah, yeah, she and Morgan were executive producers on the movie. So she was up on the set with me, and we were very close. And, and uh, she's... she's we're, we're, um, I think we're similar insofar as that we are both... Uh, working producers that right. we are um, uh, we started at the ground and worked our way up um, um, we still are constantly active in what we're doing she's got a show on the air for CBS mm -hmm. uh, I've got projects in production so that so we're gonna ham and egg it quite a bit but that's 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 the good news right. and I think that our our instinct is the same which is let's be inclusive Let's uh, let's recognize that the guild is naturally going to grow. Let's try to be as inclusive as we can be. Let's recognize that the growth is probably not going to come from, call it the high end movie producers, but the uh, but from the AP council, from the new right. media council. That's where the growth's really going to come from. All right. Well, we look forward to the next four years. It's going to be a hell of a ride. I'm Great. Sure. Thank Gary, you. Gary, so thanks much. for joining us, and thanks, enjoy Chris. the rest Thank of the you. day. Right. Thanks. Bye bye.